Hello, I'm Tip Squirrel from tipsquirrel.com. In this video, we'll be looking at accessing Adobe Camera Raw directly from Photoshop. And this comes in handy for many reasons. I like to use it for HDR. So we're going to backtrack just a little bit so I can demonstrate what I mean. OK, I'm going to open up Photomatix and I've used the default settings to uh, merge three images together to make this particular image. But I really want to give it quite a lot more tweaking before I finalize this image. So I'm going to file and save. Save image. It already exists because I've already been filling around, to be honest with you. That's usually what happens. I'm going to click OK and it saved it. I'm going to go to my bridge and there's my saved image. Double click it to open it. And it comes up in Adobe Camera Raw because it is a TIFF file. That's just a file that, that uh, Photomatix likes to save its images in and that's fine by me. Now, usually I'd have a bit of a play in here, but I'm going to skip over it just for now. I'm just going to open the image. Now, if you're using HDR Pro that comes with CS5, then you'll be chucked into Photoshop straight away after using uh, HDR Pro to merge your images anyway. Difference being that you'll be in a PSD file rather than a TIFF image. If you'd like to be in a TIFF file, then make sure that uh, whatever you've done, you've squashed them all down to one layer. Just right click over here in the layers palette and then you can just flatten the image and that'll work well and then you can open it and save it save as excuse me save as a tiff file and then open it via the bridge like we've just done however you don't need to do that if you want to follow through because you can open adobe camera raw from photoshop and here we are we're at the point of this video it only took me two minutes OK, here we go. I'm going to go to File and then to Scripts. And then you'll see I've got an extra script here. Dr. Brown's Edit Layer in ACR. Now I've downloaded this from Russell Brown's website. Let's skip over and have a look. And here it is, Edit Layers in ACR. Let me show you how I got to that. If you come to Russell Brown's website, russellbrown.com, Tips and Techniques, just click on there and then scroll down you'll find you'll find it here at the top of adobe photoshop cs5 standard edition tutorials and there it is just download the file it's free to download uh, you can watch tutorial if you wish uh, it's quite handy and uh, then you just have to install it and to install it you use your adobe extension manager uh, just find this and then click install go find the file that you downloaded you may have to unzip it first and then just install it following the on-screen directions. It's really quite easy. OK, let's get out of that one and then we'll close this one down and we're back to our image. So we've got our new script, Dr. Brown's Edit Layers in ACR, and it does exactly what it says it does. Let's see how it does it, though. If I click on it, we'll notice straight away in the Layers palette that it's given a new symbol to this layer, which is a smart object. and Sure enough, we're opened up before we get to see it again. And you can see that it's renamed this Raw Smart Temp TIFF. And what it's done is it's made it into a TIFF image. Now, regardless that I opened it as a TIFF, if you had a PSD, it would still open it as a TIFF because it needs to work on it as if it's a raw image. So TIFF works that way, which is very, very handy. So here we are. We're in Adobe Camera Raw and we can start having a bit of a mess around. So let's bring the exposure up just a little bit, perhaps. Um, bring the blacks up and then the fill light a little bit further. OK, a bit of clarity, maybe. Good. Then we can have our graduated filter. Um, let's give a little bit of less exposure. Cool and a bit more saturation to bring the blues and the oranges up in the sky. Good stuff. Let's just click the hand again to bring us back to the beginning. OK, let's give it a little bit of vibrance and a little less saturation. OK, I'm happy with that. I click OK. And there we are. We've done quite a lot of work in that already, but we have done nothing in Photoshop. Now I'm thinking what I'd like is a nice little soft vignette. 
but that means going back to Adobe Camera Raw. Now this time I don't need to go over to the file menu and choose the script. I can just double click on this layer because it is still a smart object and it'll just open it up in Adobe Camera Raw again. And now I can go over, add a bit of a vignette, soft vignette, good, uh, feather it out a bit, click OK, and I can keep going backwards and forwards as much as I like. And there we go. So in a matter of minutes, we've gone from this to this, doing nothing in Photoshop whatsoever. Now I could go over and uh, start sharpening or whatever I'd like to do in Photoshop, maybe do some spot healing. There's a bug there that was moving around. Uh, there's all sorts of things I could be doing. But I've done a lot of work here that would have taken me a lot of layers, maybe a hue saturation layer with a mask. Um, I would have done a curves layer perhaps and all, all manner of things. But I've done them all here through Adobe Camera Raw and I can keep going back and back as much as I like. So there we are, accessing Adobe Camera Raw directly from Photoshop with thanks to Russell Brown. I'm Tipsquirrel from tipsquirrel.com. Thanks very much for watching.